All right, you know the drill. Three more ramen. Let's go. The first one is Sankei Shimbun Osaka Ramen Soy Sauce. Uh, it highlight the soup base highlights tamanegi onion in a delicious way, and it is a sweet and salty broth typical of the Osaka region. Sounds good to me. Let's try it. All right, let's see how this turned out. The onion flavor is very pronounced, actually. I really like that. Um, it's got these little kind of like are these onions. I'm not sure if those are onions or fish cake or a combination of both, but they've got these little like kind of like puffs in here. The noodles are pretty standard for a cup ramen, um, but I do like the um, oniony kind of like um, savory broth. Let's try that broth. Yeah, you can definitely taste that nice soy sauce there too. It's a nice soy sauce with a nice strong onion flavor. You can see those kind of like puffs I was talking about, these like kind of round things. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what those are, but they add a nice flavor and texture um, to the broth. All in all, a nice solid soy sauce ramen. It's pretty good. All right, here's ramen number two. This is the Sapporo Miso Ramen Mini Bowl. So let's try this out. All right, here we go. Okay, not bad. The noodles are pretty standard for cup noodle. Nothing too special there. But I do appreciate the veggies in here. They got some good corn. The miso broth is actually quite tasty. Um, there's a little bit of ginger you can taste in there. The veggies actually have a good chew. You can actually like taste them in there, which is impressive for a little cup noodle. Let's try the broth. It's a nice savory miso with a slight sweetness. I do like that quite a bit. You see there's quite a bit of corn in there, which is which I mentioned, it's appreciated. Uh, and a lot of veggies. Nice solid little bowl, it's cute. It's cute and tasty. Nice. And here's our final ramen. This is the Nishin HK Demai Icho bag and it's the spicy, that's a spicy flavor. It just says spicy, so I guess it'll be spicy. All right, let's try this out. So this particular ramen had a spice packet, uh, like the soup mix packet, and then the, um, it had, had like sesame oil. But no vegetables as far as I can see. The noodles are pretty soft. Um, I prefer them a little chewier. These are pretty soft, soft and thin. And the taste is pretty mild, actually. I kind of wish there was more spice to it. Let's try the broth. Yeah, that's pretty mild. Uh, it just kind of tastes like a salty, vaguely spicy broth. I don't know, I kind of wish there was more flavor. You can take a look here. Uh, yeah, just kind of like a kind of light orange broth. Uh, pretty standard, just kind of like noodles. Now what I think this ramen needs is a craft single. Now if you've never put a craft single in ramen, it's fucking great. Um, and it has to be a craft single. Like, you know, don't be like, I'm a cheese snob, I can only have the finest cheeses. Yeah, I like my good cheeses. But American, fake ass cheese, the meltability of it in ramen, like instant ramen, so good. You just throw it in there, it's gonna get all melty and gooey. Yeah, look at that. Look at that goo. Look at that gooey cheese. It's the good stuff. And let's try a bite with the cheese. <laughs> Telling you that cheese makes it go a long way. I find it's especially good with spicy ramen. Like usually, you know, with shin ramen, it's Korean ramen. Um, I would put, I'll put cheese in there and it just, it's so good. Otherwise though, eh, I'm pretty eh about this, uh, this third ramen. Um, the noodles are kind of, I kind of, when I have it like, because this isn't a bowl. If it's a cup noodle, I'm pretty forgiving. But this is one I cooked in the pot. So, the noodles are a little too thin and just kind of whatever. The broth is not flavorful enough. Um, this one gets a pass on by me. But, what are you going to do? All right, those three ramen. Cool shit. All right. Probably do some more of these. Goodbye.